everybody. Welcome in. Today we are back in my laundry room <laughs> and I have a quick little haul for y'all. So I went to the antique mall yesterday and we are having a really big sale right now and some of the vendors are doing as much as 50% off their booths. So um, I did stop by a couple of my favorite ones and I got everything from everything you see right here. I got from one booth and um, she was doing a 50% off sale. So I did pick up some things and I wanted to share them with you guys. So the first thing I picked up was this cute little cat pillow. I don't actually own any living cats <laughs> because we're all kind of allergic, but I do love cats. I just think that they're so cute. But yeah, this is um, a brand new with tags pillow from Nordstrom. So you can't beat that. And I think I paid $6 for this. She originally had 12 on it, but it's just too cute. I love it. So I'll be keeping that, probably putting that in the living room. Uh, and then this cat plate, I've been eyeing this for a while. And then when I went by our booth yesterday, I saw it was still there and I got it half off. So I paid only $4 for it. Isn't it adorable? I just love it. So I'll have to figure out something to do with that. But yeah, I just love cats. I think they're so cute. Um, and I did get a few pieces of jewelry. This pretty butterfly here, it's absolutely huge. And it's made of some kind of metal material. Ooh, my pinky got stuck in there. There's the back. You can tell it's vintage just by the type of hardware it has on it. But I didn't see any maker's mark on it. But gosh, isn't it pretty? I just love it. That one. And then this one, I felt like it was quite a find. It's got like little articulated wings. And who do you guys think this is by? It's by Hattie Carnegie. I was so excited when I saw the tag on the back. So let me, or the maker's mark rather. Let me zoom in and show y'all. Focus. There it is. But yeah, I have found these pieces before, but it is definitely few and far in between with this designer. Um, but yeah, it is missing an eye. Do you guys think I could still sell it like that? Let me know what you think in the comments below, because I think like for a collector, that would be a really easy fix, I would imagine. But yeah, so cute. I just love that. You don't really see a lot of brooches like this anymore. Um, let's see what else. And then this really pretty yellow one. What I, I wanted to say I paid like maybe $3 for this one, but it was just so unique and I love the color combination, the yellow with the pretty green stem. And uh, no markings on this one, but gosh, isn't it pretty? Love that. And then this little Snoopy character. How cute is he? He's got his little shamrock there. And Woodstock is hanging out on the top of his hat. I think this one was $1.50. And I believe this says, Hall yeah, Hallmark Cards. Let me see if I can zoom in. But these little bitty ones like this can be collectible. And we do have St. Patrick's Day coming up. And Travis, if you happen to be watching, you can't have it. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's just so cute. Um, let's see, moving on. We have this little uh, Scotty, Scotty Terrier dog here. It's like a little brooch, a charm brooch. And that one was six, so I paid about three bucks for it. But I just thought this was adorable. And I feel like I can definitely probably sell this for like $15 or so, either on eBay or Etsy. But it, and it's made of like wood, painted, really cute. And then the last one I wanted to share with y'all is um, this pair of earrings right here. And they are made of metal. They do have a little bit of weight to them. But the reason why I picked them up is because they reminded me kind of like of the MAM jewelry earrings that I've picked up before. But also there's another brand that starts with a W. I want to say it's called Wataka or Waka, something like that. But they make earrings that look like this and they're super collectible. So whenever I go to list these, I'm probably just going to say, you know, Mam like or Wataka like or whatever that brand is. I'll have to look it up and figure it out. But these are so cute. They've got a, a little saddle. We've got a horse, little Buckaroo here, a snake, probably a rattlesnake, a guitar, horseshoe, uh, some guns. How cute are those? But I wanted to give you guys a little bit of advice. So if you are a jewelry seller, 
whether you sell jewelry on eBay or Etsy, or if you have an antique booth and you sell jewelry, I would just encourage you to not do this. Don't make this mistake. So these earring backs were on the back. I don't know where the other one went. It was a little bullet one. It wasn't that bad. It was silver, but they were on the back of these. And listen, you guys can go on Amazon and for like $5, you can get a ginormous amount of earring backs, um, all different kinds. For the bigger earrings, I like to buy the kind that are disc shaped like this. And lately, I think my last purchase where they were actually all silicone. So, and they're super inexpensive and they make for a much nicer presentation whenever you're selling them because, you know, people don't want to see, I know I didn't, I didn't want to see grody earring backs like this. So that's yucky. Get rid of that. Yucky. But yeah, a uh, quick little haul. I just wanted to share everything I got. So I'll probably be keeping the cats for sure and um, maybe selling the rest of the jewelry. We'll see. But let me know what your favorite piece was down in the comments below. And we will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.